Feels like it's breaking in Into my belly And up my spine Till my old body is being tired Welcome back to Friday Night Football live on SBS2 and HD. The Raw extend their lead at the top to six points. Adelaide still without a win since round one. Let's hear now from the winning coach, Mike Mulvey. You're both very similar in terms of your possession styles. In fact, you're the best in the league, the two of you. But uh, where do you think you actually got over the line there in terms of getting the three points? Well, I think in the second half, we uh, once we moved Ivan wide right, we uh, we probably got in four or five times where we hadn't done it really in the first half. So we were, you know, Liam Liam came on and I thought he made a bit of a difference. You know, clear head, and uh, he's been out for a while, but it was good to get him back on the pitch. But then you got Bessart. He's he's on the ground. He's got three players around him and can still poke it in the back of the net. So two goals from him helps. Will you ever be able to celebrate a win? I know you always are very critical of the team, but uh, you know, taking away the three points, you have to be proud, and there are some positives to take from this. Oh, look, you, you, you're delighted because we've got the points, but we really we want to improve the performance. Um, we've only had two, what I think are complete performances this year. Um, I was disappointed because we just, you know, everyone's saying how good Adelaide are, and I wanted us to come here and show how good we were in the first half, and we didn't really do that. Second half was a bit better, but we've got the three points, we'll go home. Listen, don't make any mistake, we deserve to be where we are, uh, and I accept that, but we want to get better. And so what will you be working on going into next week's fixture? Well, um, we're working on making sure that we start from the very first minute, um, you know, we, we did we did the other Friday against uh, Western Sydney. It was better, um, but you've got to give a bit of credit to them. You know, they kept the ball well, they kept turning us around. But we didn't have our defensive lines close enough in the first half. Second half, as I said, we were better, and I think they noticeably tired in the last 20 minutes, which we thought of expected they would do, and uh, we took control. But it was hard in our mouth for the last five minutes. Thanks so much, Mike. All the best. Yeah, thanks, Lucy. Make sure you celebrate it, hey? Yeah, I will. Don't worry. I have a glass of wine after. I'm sure he will. Mike Mulvey there, and I guess, uh, guys, Clint, um, he, he would be very happy with the, the win, obviously, but uh, Adelaide started that, especially in the first half, played very well, didn't they? Extremely well. Extremely well. I think, I think um, uh, Mike Mulvey said it there. He's, uh, he was more worried about the performance today, uh, coming to Adelaide, talk about Adelaide playing some of the best football going around. But Brisbane Raw, clearly still the team to beat. Um, Adelaide dominated uh, pretty much in the first half. It was a, you know... The set pieces were extremely good. Um, Osama found a way to score in this instance. So Adelaide can be uh, very, you know, very happy with how they played today. Uh, like, like we talked about, it was their def this was a poor moment, poor moment for Tarek, unfortunately. As a team, they defended very well. But you cannot, you cannot uh, allow for individual mistakes like this. Um, they're coach killers. Just uh, gifting them the way back in, isn't it? Absolutely. Up, up until that point, they looked compact, they looked solid. They didn't look like, Raw didn't look like they were in the game at all, to be honest. And then you, know, you send Berisher to the spot, you know what's going to happen. So here's the delivery again, Foz. Mm -hmm. uh, so. but, but we've spoken a lot about Adelaide, obviously, uh, Foz, and the way that they're playing. And, but, but, you know, they've created chances. They're not scoring them. I mean, where, where, at what point do you start saying, right, uh, you mm. know, there's a pressure on the coach, mm. and you come here and they're, they're playing brilliant football, but yeah. they're not getting the results. So... Something's got to give. There's still going to be a lot of pressure on the yeah, coach, though, right? It depends on the club. I think, um, you know, you look at Brisbane Raw, for instance, and you say, OK, that's a team a few years in making. And they've got, what, Young, Yaboa, Khan, Barish has been a couple of seasons now, Broich, all of these guys. The Adelaide players, of course, have been there, the majority of them. But uh, there is quite a few new acquisitions as well. But they're, they're what, what are they, a five-month team? OK. So the way they've played today they've given them a serious football contest. Uh, a couple of moments from Berisha, brilliant. It's true, they did get in behind, but so did Adelaide. Mm. So, you know, I, I look at that today and I think, you know what, give them maybe a bit more deadly goal scorer or a Bruce Jidde in great form. Um, and uh, perhaps, you know, a winger who can score goals, because Thierry didn't look as though he was uh, going to get much happening there, but he was in wonderful positions all the time. Mm. And they are... A very, very good team. But then you come up against this, Clint, and you've got a player like Berisha who has got two players there, beats them, and then still yeah. makes something out of three guys around, goalkeeper comes out. Yeah, yeah. I was saying to you before, I, 
when, when this happened. Um, this gives me as much joy watching a striker just finding a way to score. Uh, it doesn't matter how he does it. And he does it consistently. Uh, a guy like Suarez in the, in the Premier League is the same sort of thing. Just finds a way to score. You know, I, can, I can happily watch strikes from long range like we saw from Miliarini last mm. week. But a goal like that just gives me as much... Uh, it's just as good in my mind. And, and Berish is going to give you that every week. So in a class outfit, which Brisbane are, they've got a match winner who can produce moment yeah. off his own back. And yeah, that's, exactly. that's what about this? I mean, ah, you yeah. know. Same thing as the first half there, Foz. He's, uh, the keeper's made a great save, but it's, it's a save that he shouldn't be entitled to make yeah. in that situation. That's, that really is the difference. So often, you know, you might say with a competition leader, uh, the raw, uh, that... Oh, gee, what about this for a moment? Yeah. I, I guess mean, that's he's, what I'm he's talking finishing about. That. I mean, he's going to finish that. I guess that's what I'm talking about. They're getting the chances. You're not scoring. I mean, it's yeah. it's 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 got to kill the coach. Yeah. Well, the hard part is to create them. Uh, that's that's the one where the advantage is not played. Yeah, uh, that's right. yeah. You had to allow that to go. I mean, that's in the last 30 seconds. Everyone comes back. Then you've got a set piece. Difficult to get through. Uh, this was a moment of real danger. I'm sure Mike Mulvey was thinking, oh, gee, don't, don't put a foul on him. Yeah. Uh, and it looked as it looked like it may have been one, mm. uh, but. Well, you know, I'd imagine for the Adelaide crowd and for the club, they look at that and say, that's that in many, many respects, that's extremely good. Ten goals in the last, out of the last 16 that Adelaide have conceded, Clint, have come in the last 30, 30 minutes. Is, there's got to be something to that. Why do you think that is? Why do you think they're conceding so many? Yeah, I, think, I think today, probably a separate to that, obviously, Berish has just found a way. He could have done that in the first minute and the 30th, the 90th minute. So it was an issue... Previous to today, uh, I think uh, as an overall unit, today they defended very, very well. Uh, uh, clearly, they've gone back through, in the, through the week, uh, identified that uh, we're not doing well enough at the back. I remember talking to you about this pre-season. Um, Gombao's come in and, you know, he's wanted to play this attacking brand of football. But more often than not, you see coaches coming in and working on the defence first and then building from there. It just seemed like he came in. He's got the brand of football he wants to play and not much effort was put into the defensive end. That's, that's the way I looked at it. Mm. So mm. look at I'm what you sure, can do. I'm not sure about that because what, what happens... Oh, I'll take your point. But what happens is the defensive plan is part of his attacking plan in the sense that he wants to try and win the ball. It's very clear that they've spent a lot of work on the line stepping up. Malik steps in, McCain steps in. They're actually unnatural actions for the players in many respects. Our players, the way we generally play, I think anyways, when they lose the ball, is step back. Mm. And he's got them losing the ball and in the back four playing a very high line with this offside, uh, which is very hard to play. But the actions of the players are very consistent. There's just often they're a bit mistimed. Do you know what I mean? So I, I look at it and actually think there's been a lot of work go into it, mm. but he's either going to have to change it slightly, which I think he's maybe adapted a bit tonight, or when they get it and they play that as well, it's going to be extremely good. OK, well, let's yeah. hear from the man himself, Josip Gombau. He's with Lucy. Josip, Adelaide started off very well, but unfortunately things just didn't go your way. Yes, uh, I am happy with the way that we are playing. We play very well. I think that uh, we create more chance than them. I am satisfied with the work that the players did and I am satisfied uh, with the football that we are doing. Uh, we play against the team that is at the top of the league and uh, I think that we play uh, a very good football against them and we create more chance than them. Of course, I am unhappy for the result, I am sad for the result, I am sad for the people that come here and don't see his team winning. And this is something that we need to try to arrange. But uh, I think that uh, just we need to keep believing in what we are doing and keep working and, and the result will come. You said you're happy with the football, but what do you take away from this in terms of what you work on for next week's fixture? Yeah, and I need to, analyze, to take the analysis of, the, of, of this uh, game. Uh, I need to see again. But uh, I think that we are in the way. We, we create a lot of chance. We need to, to improve maybe. We are live seven or eight times and we scored one goal. And they are live uh, two times and scored two goals. Uh, the penalty and the, the goal, that is a, a chance uh, that, that they score. But we have clear, clear chance for to score, to win and, and change. Uh, maybe in the first half, if you finish 3-1 uh, and you go to the, to the half-time winning. But uh, this is football, uh, they are doing well, uh, we are playing a good uh, football and we are working, we are starting and uh, I am satisfied with this. And just uh, I want to say to the fans that keep passion and, and I am sure that the, the winnings will arrive. Speaking of the fans, they seemed quite unhappy with the refereeing tonight. W what did you make of it? 
Of course, I don't want to speak about the referees because they, they can to do his job. But uh, it's true that uh, the, if, if you see all the games in this season, uh, there are some decisions that they take it that uh, that make that uh, maybe change the game. Uh, we against Western Sydney, there are a handball that after finishing goal last season, last week, there are a penalty that they don't don't bring to us, and after. Uh, they bring to uh, they bring to them a penalty that is not is not penalty. Today I don't know this. I need to see in, in television again. But uh, what we can do? Uh, the referee is something that you cannot control. Uh, just uh, we need to be focused in what we are doing and work hard. In the referee is just we need to help them because it's not easy to be referee and, and this is all. Thank you so much for your time, Josip. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Josip Gombal there focusing on the positives. These are the Les Murray medal points. Marcello Karuska gets three, Berisha for his two goals gets two points and Osama Malik gets one point. Let's just talk about Karuska there, guys, and I guess, uh, Foz, you pointed out how well mm. he played in, the, in this game. Yeah, I thought he was very, what, very good. What was the highlight for you? Uh, basically, the Raw are going to press you all the time and so you need a player who is very comfortable and can do this just go past a player and not normally wide but in the centre of the park especially so when they really and make the right decision see that touch that that touch forget the pass the touch got them out of it gave that midfielder no option no ability to be able to continue to put any pressure on him and that's that's quite a rare player see here look he's beat one i mean it's a, it's it's almost a beautiful ball but it's the way that he just got around players look if they if he gets pressure on him there they're still in their own half in the back third. But then he's also able to play him through here and it was, it was quite a good attempt. So those types of players against a pressing team are like gold. Mm. He was very, very good at it.